earth looks so calm from space. Its magnificence is undefined. It seems like a blue-colored solid ball. It looks so peaceful and quiet. Let us see where we are on the earth. We have seen the planet from above, but what's inside it? The interior structure of the earth is not solid and is layered. The outermost layer is the earth's crust ranging from only 5 to 70 kilometers in depth. It consists of many pieces or plates which fit into each other like a jigsaw puzzle. The pieces try to move past each other as they float on the mantle. Most large earthquakes occur on plate boundaries. The Himalayas and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands in India are lying on such plate boundaries. In addition to plate boundaries, earthquakes also occur in the interior of a plate. These are rare compared to plate boundary quakes but can be as devastating. The Bhuj earthquake in Gujarat a few years ago proved just that. Hence, no place is really safe from damaging earthquakes. Let's observe the locations in and around India that quaked in the last few years. This earthquake map of our country clearly shows that no part of the nation is safe from earthquakes. If we have to live with quakes, let's understand their effects so that we can make our construction safe against such earthquakes. Let's enter a commercial building for that. Hi, I have an appointment to meet the CMD. Sir, you need to take elevator to the 7th floor. Right across the hallway, you will find this room on your left. Thank you. Wow, wonderful aesthetics. Thank God, the building didn't go down. The visitor was lucky that the building is still standing. But how would he feel if he was in the CMD's room during the earthquake? Let's go back a few seconds. Wow, nice paintings. Thankfully, we are in a building which is designed to resist earthquakes, unlike the constructions outside which could not take the strong shaking and hence collapsed. Although this building also developed a few cracks, but it has served its purpose of life safety. If the building is earthquake resistant, it will not collapse. However, the internal contents of the building may still shift or overturn injuring the occupants. When caught inside a building during an earthquake, we should get down on our knees and crawl to the closest safe location. This could be under a bed or a study table, under door frames and outside if an exit is nearby. Whatever we do, we should try to protect our head and neck primarily by putting a cushion or other object above it to prevent injury due to falling objects. The big advantage of living in an earthquake resistant building is that even though the building may get damaged when there is an earthquake, the occupants are safe as the building will stay standing since the beams and columns are strongly connected. Engineers design buildings keeping in mind the likely strength of future earthquakes. The entire country has been divided into four seismic zones. 
based on earthquake strength. Constructions in the Himalayas are designed for stronger tremors than those in Delhi and Mumbai. Let's build stronger buildings to stay safe. Because home is safe, then you are safe.